all right guys welcome back to the channel once again today we're gonna be talking about this node tree so this is a custom node tree there is no any kind of library that have been used for mapping this kind of structure totally custom i have written the code for mapping this one like into the parent and child so there's a data structure is going on like so there's that is the nest area like children inside the children and kind of thing so you can see this is the parent node one is the parent node and there's one children inside of that that is the second node in the second node there are two children inside of that like three and five so both are mapping like the, in this way and there is one children inside this three is four and one children inside the five is four okay so both have the same id because these are the two objects it could be like four or six something like that so this kind of for designing this kind of tree i've already written the code and css i have so mostly the impact like uh, designing you can do easily like uh, mapping you can do easily like array and inside that array there another children array exists so that you can map it but the designing of the css it's a kind of typical role plays into this one so that is the important i'll just show you into the code like how the, it is designed and how i have mapped it already and what manner like css is written okay so let's go into the code so like this code repository i have already pushed into the github and this code is also already exist into the github i don't know like uh, if you guys clone this repo so you would be able to see it or not but you what you have to do if you clone this repo you just need to go into the app.js and you will find the code over here so you can see this tree rendering function which is rendering the tree so all the code for the return over here like uh, the tree rendering and i am just passing this tree rendering into this jsx of the this main component app okay and here you can see i have designed this data structure for this one so this is the way like you can see one and second inside that one there's a children like second and inside that second there's another children which is third object third and five so both are getting mapped into this one second and after that into the fifth there is one children that is four and in the third this one children is four okay so that's how it get mapped and let's suppose i will increase one more children over here like i'll make it six i'll make it six okay so this is also four so we will change the id of this one so, so we can make it seven and eight and let's so you can see it's aut automatically designed and mapped into that way okay so there are two children so if i will create one more object inside this so there are going to be three children okay let's do that and let's check this out so if i will increase one more object inside that so this is nine okay and you can see this is how it got mapped so this is a totally structured code and css is written in that way like if it will check like there is there is another node inside that like list is getting increased so it will increase the this width of this border and line and all the things so that's how so let me just show you the css code for this one so just you need to go into the tree.css and you can see all the code is written over here so this code is working on the base of after and before because whenever we are mapping this kind of children so we are mapping in that way like we are positioning the node with the after and before of the element okay so we are just giving the this uh, arrow like this border to the after element and this border to the before element okay so that's how it's getting designed so this is not the custom component this is not the border of the like uh, box or something this is the border of the li after element li before element so that's how it's getting mapped automatically and we i'm not setting any kind of fixed width for this one as much as the node gonna be increased the width of this after element gonna be increased automatically over here so you can see the li after element is given over here so width is 50 percent like both the side it should be increased like left side and right side and it will automatically take that one and also you can see the height what i have to do so height i have given 20 px like whenever it comes just down of the to the children element so it will take the 20 px height from here to here and after that if you are taking the another node then it should take the height from here to here 20 px okay so that is the height difference also you can see another code as well and i after so there are so many codes written uh, so many lines of the code written over here and if you want to have a look and try to understand so you can just 
try to make the edit into this one and try to understand how the css is working for this one so it's kind of a little difficult to understand but yeah it's pretty easy once you get about this and you will it will be easy to track so you can do any kind of changes into this one like if you want to customize it and set the state or something like that you want to make it dynamic or kind of something so you can make it easily there's no any kind of difficulty into that one so i have already written the code for this one you can see the i have written and i have commented over here earlier i have shown you in my one of the video of youtube you, some of you could already like uh, how did you make that and how it working we don't know whether so this was the logic behind that one that i implemented that time so it is like it was uh, one or two one or two, two year ago i wrote this code but now yeah so today i got the chance to make this and i'll show you so let me just go into my video okay so let's go over here let's go into the videos playlist react for so there's some not this one sorry okay over here so the 13 yeah and let's just check this out so into this video uh if we go at the end of this so you can see over here so you see for one second i have shown you over here so let me this is the logic so you can see so this tree is written over here so this kind of tree i have created uh just by using this kind of structure or this logic okay so there's no, no any kind of difference into that i have just used recursion over here for designing this tree and customized a little bit little bit like uh, making the styling of the node little different and on click events and all the things and also i have put these things over here and this button as well so these kind of customization i have done and on click of this button this kind of node this kind of node comes and you can so this kind of dynamic thing is working over here but the logic is behind that is this one so this is kind of very simple but you can customize it as per your own choice you can put some uh, other elements into this one and create some functions so that's kind of, that's how it works so there's no any kind of uh, so much difficulty once you get the chance of looking at this code and try to do some implementation so slowly slowly you will get to understand about like how it works internally so it's not kind of very difficult it's just a map function is written over here and you just need to do little customize so so there's a simple html logic as well written over here if you're not able to understand this map function so you can just uncomment this html logic over here and you will get to know like how this li and ul items are working so if i reload this space so you can see this is another tree and you can see in this one there are multiple nodes like but nodes one node two i have made little changes into this one because i need uh, the difference between of these nodes like distance between both both the nodes should be equal like you can see this one is just moving into the one area and leaving the space behind this one but this shouldn't this not look like that this is taking the equal space from one left side and right side little bit difference not much but yeah taking equal space into the left side and right side it's not just moving into the right side and leaving the space into the left, left side it's taking the equal space both side and looks little better than this one so this is not taking so that's change i have done and this is the html written code like html written logic so you just need to customize it into by using map ts because you can't write the html if you have a map if you have an array kind of this okay so that's how it works and this is it like i just wanted to show you and if you guys want to have a look so you can just clone this repo and go into the app.js and you can have a look how the logic works and if you won't be able to understand into this one so you can just comment it out i'll let you know about this one so it's very easy and very simple you can try to implement it by your own as well so thank you so much guys thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video